about why trees and plants grow a certain height, a certain width, and a certain density. What we need to know about is apical dominance and auxins. So why do you care? Well, in order to do a proper job pruning, you need to understand these two basic concepts. Apical dominance is when a plant at the top grows so strongly that nothing else grows underneath it. I don't have one of your standard houseplant rubber trees here, but you've all seen them. They grow one stem and big leaves, and it's really hard to get them to prune and to be where else. That's because apical dominance means that there's a very strong auxin, and auxin is a chemical that grows on the tip of the plant, and what happens is that chemical inhibits all the other buds and growth down on the stem. Well, how come this plant sprouts everywhere? This is an aurelia. It's called Alforiana aurelia, one of my favorite plants. But it certainly doesn't look like it cares where it grows. It's grown anywhere down on the stems, anywhere down on the tips. This particular plant had spider mites, a common pest indoors. And so we stripped every single leaf off the plant, including all the tips, to get rid of the spider mites. One way you can do it at home. Just make sure you wash everything around it. And look at how beautifully it sprouted. It took about six weeks. We put it in a nice sunny window, and it sprouted little tiny sprouts here, all the way down to the little tiny stems, as well as on the top. But you see how the top, these sprouted bigger and fatter leaves? That's because the apical dominance still wins at the top. Think of it like a chemical coming down the stem and making it so that these are little babies and they're sick. This chemical makes them sick so they can't grow. So the one at the top always wins. Well, certainly on this one, the apical dominance and the auxin is much, much stronger than on an aurelia. So how do you get out more? You simply take off the tip. Now, the dominance here and the chemical that it's producing is no longer there. So these little side buds all the way down the stem have a chance to sprout until this makes a new top and then that top wins again. So then you've got to take the, all the tops off at the same time so that none of them are winning and everybody has an even chance. As soon as it's a new top, this is the winner and everybody else grows slower. I hope that helps. You understand your pruning so that you know that a plant like this, you can pinch all the tips off. A plant like this, much more stubborn to be able to grow a new top because it's so strong, the one always wins. Have fun with your pruning.